And so we are not made to think that this king offers peace to all. He offers peace conditionally based on whether they submit. And that's why even as we sang Psalm 2, we're, we're praying, we're desiring, we're longing that our rulers would kiss the sun lest they be angry and they perish. We want our president to kiss the sun. We want all those who hold power to kiss the sun. We want everyone who occupies any place of authority to kiss the true king of kings. Otherwise they will perish. And so here we have Christ. He is not ignorant of his enemies. He is not ignoring his enemies. Indeed, he is expecting they will come under his feet. They will come under his feet. Are you saved? Are you? Do you have assurance of salvation? Do you know your sins are forgiven? Are you living in constant doubt? Do you have one foot in the church and one foot in the world? Are you a double-minded man, unstable in all your ways? Do you find yourself kicking against explicit and challenging statements of God's word rather than surrendering and submitting? Again, I ask, are you saved? You can be saved here, right now, this morning, in this morning service. And if you need any guidance, you can talk to me. But even now, just cry out, God, be merciful to me, a sinner.